Let's join Wade on a rainy afternoon handgun hunt as he hopes to pull the trigger on a whitetail towards the end of the deer season with his Smith & Wesson 460 XVR. Smith & Wesson's model 460 XVR has the highest muzzle velocity of any production revolver on Earth, capable of launching a 200 grain bullet at 2,330 feet per second. Sitting here at the end of our season on this lease in Texas, and we've got a winter storm coming in tomorrow, kind of hoping that it's going to get the deer on their feet. It's upper 50s and misting right now. The wind's supposed to pick up here in a little while, which it's kind of driven me back to this same pop-up that we had some good encounters in earlier, and we'll see what comes in. Maybe we'll get lucky. Might shoot a pigs, might shoot a management buck, might shoot a trophy, might shoot a doe. Just really don't know. We're just gonna go sit down and see what comes in. We're pretty, pretty well set up here. We've got a big blackout blind here. That's, you know, we've actually sat with three, four people inside this one. So we've got ample room to move around. And we've got about 180, maybe 200 degree shooting lane today that we can, you know, get into shots at two track that goes down towards the creek, down towards a feeding area, and then we got a trail that comes in here. These deer just kind of meander through here. And I think we're going to be sitting here for quite some time, so um, it really makes for a good place to plan to set all day, and that's kind of what we're doing. We hit him hard. I mean, he immediately flopped down and went down really hard. So when you're shooting that 460, the concussion that comes back and the impact that hits them, it's a lot of power. But I mean, he really, he flopped down hard when he when he went down, thrashing through the brush and then took off through there. So that's 20, 22 yards right in there. And uh, maybe a little further, and I, I mean, it shot felt good, everything felt good, and he just, I mean, he hit the ground hard there and was plowing right away, so we'll give it some time, and then we'll go see what we got. That's all we can do. Whew, that was fun. <laughs> Look at this right here. See, he plowed out right through here. Uh, that's going to be lungs. That's lungs right there. You can see it. He's not, he's going to be dead right up here. Look at all the blood on that branch where he blew through. Everything right there. There's more blood there. There's blood there. Wow, he didn't go 100 yards. Piled up right there. It's gonna be a long shot. I mean, you can, you know, the blood through here, it's funny, it just quit, it just kind of lightly rained and it, it made it actually kind of hard to see, but you can see the damage. He was running through brush the whole time. And we put him down. He is right up here. <laughs> Nothing makes me feel better than to make a good shot on a deer and they expire like that. Oh, look at this guy here. And they just, they pile up and die. I mean, that is just one of my favorite things to do. You know that you did right by the deer. Get the drug out of here. He wasn't gonna go anywhere after that shot. Man, I mean, what a nice buck. That's the Smith & Wesson 460 in action there. We practice with it a lot. This guy's really run down from the rut. Um, it's the 
2nd of February as we shoot this content right here at the end in this 2022 so this is basically the end of the 21 22 season and these deer have been rutting and chasing and really running pretty hard uh you know all along and we've seen this deer on scouting camera he's probably lost 30 pounds of weight uh you know you can literally see the the bones he's he's really kind of he's kind of run down from from the rut and that happens so much to these deer down here what a cool deer what a great buck what a great season it's been I, you know i i think about deer hunting all year long it, it's something i don't ever quit doing i'm always thinking of new stands i'm thinking of new ways to set up new situations new areas and i'm always practicing with different things and you know i go back quite a ways with hunting with 460. one of my first handgun kills was basically this gun with open sights this one here has a trijicon rmr on it uh, i love that 460 i mean the 460 xvr is a powerful cartridge most powerful basically handgun cartridge you're looking at it comes out with uh, you know a lot of speed the 500s obviously a little bit bigger but this one's got a faster muzzle velocity it just gets it done i mean and it's a punishing load it's fun to shoot and it, and it packs a wallop so it's one to get excited about hunting with for sure and this is an old buck i mean you can tell when you look at him he's he's pretty run down you can see the bones in him he's got some dirty hocks beautiful antlers I'm gonna make some great sausage out of him and a lot more <laughs>